like this could spell the death of our local community in terms of the shops on the streets on Ballyfermot Road. And it's that between, it's not just the community, it's the community and the business, business owners that have all been there together. This right tea, t right tea, right, no right turn. Uh, I know Joe Forty was out this morning, it took him over 15 minutes to be able to go around instead of doing, what, 30 seconds to a minute. So I just want to say well done to everybody um, for turning out today. It's important that we stand together as a community because the impact that this is going to have on our local community, on being able to navigate Ballyfermot and be able to go down to the shops and go down the main road and be able to do everything like that. It's so, so important that we do stand together like Hayla. So I just want to say well done. Go Ramila Mila Mogadi, Ashok, Ashok, Chokta Mok and Yov, August Yet, Tasilagun Gunari Linkler. Thanks very much, I appreciate you coming out. Now you're very busy. Well, like the rest of them. And they shouldn't be let. It's all about money. Getting buses from Liffey Valley into town in 15 minutes, which to me, you wouldn't even get the passengers on to pay their fare, never mind get off. So you jump on and kill yourself getting off the bus. And that's the plan. And to be very honest, every time some brains in town thinks of something bright, they destroy another part of the community, which they've done bit by bit by bit. They knocked down a beautiful building, the monastery down the road, which could have been an old folks' home for a lot of local people. And it was a beautiful building, destroy that, and all for what money, that's all it's about. Yes. And really and truly, unless people get together and demonstrate, and I don't mean trouble demonstrate, I'm talking about peaceful, respectful demonstration, mm. and get out and tell people exactly, we do not want that kind of system in this community. True. That's True. it. Of the small businesses in Valley Fairmont, when they take the parking away up at air shops, there is not going to be any shops because people won't be able to get in and buy their little bits. And unfortunately, because we're such small businesses, we will disappear. And that means there'll be no shops in Valley Fairmont. And I think that is an absolute disgrace. So I'm delighted to see everybody out here today. And please God, onwards and upwards. Everybody for coming out today. Um, for those of us who've lived in Ballyfermot all our life, we've seen good days and bad days. And when I look around here, I have to say, and Jackie touched upon it, if we're not careful, we'll end up just with 25 Chinese takeaways or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And that is not the Ballyfermot that we want to live in. It'll offer nothing to this community, nothing whatsoever. We need a thriving part of the community here, one in which delivers services that people want. People will shop if the place is nice, and I'm not joking you. When I look around here and see five or six places permanently every day from 10 o'clock, wherever, 6 o'clock in the morning till 6 o'clock at night with the shutters down, not up, that doesn't do Ballyfermot any good. And what's being proposed now with Bus Connects and their lack of consultation, real consultation means when you go in, you don't have the agenda already set and the outcome set. You go in with the spirit of listening to people and accepting that some of what you want, you mightn't get because people will show you a better way. Well done to everybody. We have a long campaign ahead of us to try and get these people. They're not known for changing. And as we found out the other day, Inchy Core now, a part of this, you won't be able to drive through Inchy Core. So when you get down, you can't go to Grafton Crescent. You'll be forced into the city, down the Keys. And unfortunately, we've gone from three lanes to one lane. So it'll be like a funnel. So it's going to be impossible to get around the city. And if we're not careful, even as a city centre, we'll have lovely coffee shops, but we'll have no stores. And that's not the Dublin city I want either. Well done, everyone. Folks, give yourselves a big round of applause. What a fantastic turnout here again from a very, very proud community that will re we refuse to be ignored, talked down to and run roughshod over. What is very clear from this plan for Ballyfermot is that the powers that be attempt to continue to ignore us. They will not ignore Ballyfermot. We will not let you be ignored. We all have different political parties here today. But there's one thing for sure, there's absolute cross-party agreement that Ballyfermot needs to be spoken to, not at, listened to, not ignored, consulted with, not patronised. And we'll work together to ensure that happens. And the protests will get bigger, stronger and more regular until the NTA come out of the ivory tower, roll up their sleeves and works with this community. That's what we want. 
We will not stop until that happens. And I'll be honest with you folks, we have been engaged with this process for seven years. We've met with them, protested, lobbied, submitted, brought them out to speak to the Ballyfermot uh, Disability Action Group. We've had public meetings up here. We have absolutely been part of the process and they have chosen to ignore us and shame on them. We will not be ignored. And we will continue to operate in unity, cross party, with the community, until they come out, they listen, and they act on our behalf. So well done today, well done in the future. I'm absolutely confident that we will have our way in the end. Because we do want public buses, we do want public transport, but it needs to be for the community, of the community, and consulted with the community. Nothing else is good enough for Ballyfermot. Goramila Mahogav, and dare I say it, Chucky Arlaw.
We have water up here if anybody wants it. Thank you. We 